from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk book. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you so much for being part of our program. We appreciate it. We do. Here we are on the cusp of Christmas and New Year's and every year at this time I have the following conversation with you and year in year out I never cease to be amazed at the responses I get and I'm willing to bet that some of you out there will be surprised at what you hear as well So you won't be tuning out during this hour. Trust me. Holy cow. Here is the deal. This week begins the holiday party season. The holiday party season begins now because we are in those few weeks right before Christmas And uh, this is when your company is going to have its Christmas party. Now, let me just say this. I won't be going to our company Christmas party this year. It's the first year I've worked for CBS, and I have a conflicting engagement. I'm going to be making an appearance in public at the same time as the party. So understand uh, that um, I really can't comment on the CBS party. I haven't been to it. Uh, I won't be able to go. And um, so everything I say here is about, uh, well, other companies. And it's not that I wouldn't comment. Believe me, I've made many comments about CBS on the air. But in this case, I don't know about it because I'm not going to be there this year. Don't know. But here is my deal. I have many years of experience in the Christmas party tray. Many years I've been attending company Christmas parties. And many years I've been seeing exactly what goes on at some companies. And may I tell you, it's not pretty. Not at all. Amazingly enough... You may hear me on this program and think that... uh, I'm completely wild and out of control, and I certainly can be. But one thing I know for sure is that if you insist on doing something stupid and getting married, if you insist on doing something stupid and having a live-in girlfriend or boyfriend, or you insist on having a permanent relationship of some kind, most Christmas parties, in one way or another, invite trouble. A radio station I worked for here in Los Angeles, which shall go unnamed because they're as litigious as I am. A radio station had a Christmas lunch. And at the lunch, the head of human resources was taking attendance Literally, as each person filed into the room, their name was checked off a list. I happen to believe that one of the reasons, and I, 
I've been, uh, I have been told that this is true by many people over the years as I've done this show. I believe many people, and uh, take it for what it's worth, many people use the company Christmas party as the company's way to find out how you behave in certain situations. Your behavior is monitored. You already know the company is checking to see what you're doing online, what websites you visit. You already know that they're checking out your phone bill if you have a company uh, BlackBerry or you have a company phone. You already know they're trying to find out your family's uh, health history, your health habits. There are companies that are firing people for smoking or being fat or whatever. And I'm telling you, the holiday Christmas party is just another opportunity for the company to put you in an enticing situation and then see how you act. To put you in a situation with unlimited booze. To put you in a situation where your spouse may not be invited. Free booze. A dance floor. Your spouse not allowed to come. They tell you it's a budget cutting thing. Ever had that happen to you? Oh yes, one of the companies I've worked for uh, used to have a Christmas party every year and they said no spouses, no significant others. And they said it was for budget-cutting purposes. And let me tell you point blank what happened at those parties. You go and there's unlimited free booze. And not only that, there's a certain number of people from the company who openly are going out in little packs or little cliques. And they're going outside and they're smoking weed like there's no tomorrow. Then you come inside and there is a dance floor and a DJ. Now, if you are married or you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they are not invited, who are you supposed to be dancing with? I just here to tell you, no matter what women call in and say on this program, the women were not dancing with each other. The women were dancing with men in the office who'd been smoking weed or had too much to drink. And I'm telling you, there are people from your company who are stone cold sober, who are standing there making note of everything you do, whether it's screwing around in your wife, drinking too much, smoking weed, whatever it is. I thought it was amazing at this one company that so many people were smoking weed. There were so many corporate managers there and nobody said anything. And I don't think it's an accident. Sure, go ahead and smoke weed. Let me get out my pad and piece of paper here. Let me get a writer and get a pen. Joe Blow, pot smoker. Joe Blow drinks too much. Joe Blow screws around on his wife. I honestly believe that's what many companies have in mind. They're not being generous to you. That's what the company would love you to believe. The company would love you to believe that, you know, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. We are here, you know, as your company to have some holiday cheer. Let's all get together. But in reality, somebody is watching your every move. Your every move. The best of these activities, certainly the most interesting one, is the one where the company has, unli- first of all, your spouse isn't allowed to come. I've been to this party, too. Your spouse is not allowed to come because we're tightening our corporate belts. Everybody's tightening up. Everybody's trimming back. So no spouses. But there will be unlimited boots. And... Because we care about you here at the company, there will be bargain-priced hotel rooms either down the block from where we're having the party or the party will be in the hotel in a ballroom or the bar or restaurant of a hotel. I uh, was at one company where you could stay at a high-end hotel for $59 a night. Because the company booked a block of rooms. All you had to pay was 59 bucks, and then you wouldn't have to drive home. But more importantly, you could escort whoever you met on the company dance floor up to your room, and you'd be telling your wife, Honey, I wish I could come home, but I drank too much. But don't worry, honey, they got us all rooms. Come on. Come on. 
You know what's going on there. I know what's going on there. Right? I know that there are some of you out there right now who are going to parties just like this. You know, you give your wife or your husband some excuse why they can't come to the party, or maybe the company, uh, usually I think somebody in management is effing around with somebody, and <laughs> this is how they give the excuse to their significant other, and then it passes down the line. You go to a party and you tell the wife or the husband or the boyfriend or the girlfriend, love to take you, honey, but it's uh, no spouse, no significant others. That's that's what they said. You go to the party. The company provides with all this booze. Maybe they provide you with a hotel room so you don't have to drive home. And so there are some of you who are going to take advantage of this opportunity to take care of unresolved sexual tension in your office. Now, we have found from past experience doing this particular show that there are people out there at this time of year plotting, planning, and scheming what they're going to do, what bad things they're going to do the night of the company Christmas party. If you are one of those people, if you've got plans to be absolutely evil and to do bad things, call me now at 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Maybe you're married. Maybe you live with someone. Maybe you just have a serious relationship. The company Christmas party for many people is a free pass. Now, I know there are people listening who are saying, I can't believe this. Yeah, well... Wait until you hear the stories people are going to tell. We've done this show every year for years. And every year, after a while, to me, there's no surprise. The only surprise is for people who've never heard me do the show before. So if you've got a company Christmas party coming up, it could be the receptionist, the person who sits next to you, somebody in the sales department where you work, the marketing department, somebody who works in the factory with you, whatever. There you are with somebody and you two have been flirting up a storm or sending each other uh, corporate emails or whatever. And finally now, the company Christmas party gives you that opportunity to resolve all that unresolved sexual tension. If that's you, call me. Tom, Tom, Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Ah! You curl my toes. Oh. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Hi. One of the big plans for your holiday party. Morris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. How's it going? So far, so good. Well, I got pretty good news for all those people that can't believe this. You've got good news? Yeah, I got good news. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's, I'm allowed to say uh, the name of the hotel where I work at. No, nah, I would rather not. All right, it's a hotel. I'll say the city. I don't care. It's Beverly Hills, and um, I'm I, I'm a mini bar there. And uh, you wouldn't understand how many affairs are in this hotel. I mean, of the maids and all that, or all the workers. So we're throwing this party for next week for the Christmas party, and um, I no spouses are allowed, and they're giving us a hotel room for that night. Really? Yeah, I got my I got like three girls already though. You think there'll be any uh, any other girls available? Because I know oh. the boys here would uh, probably love to join you. Oh, uh, there's plenty of, but there's so many affairs in there you wouldn't even understand. Uh, now, these are all there. people who work. Wait, wait. These are people who work for the hotel. People that work at the hotel as maids, mini bars, or supervisors, or whatever you name it, they're married, but there's affairs in there. Are you serious? And and uh, does the hotel sponsor the party? Who sponsors the party? Uh, the hotel sponsors the party, and I guess this is the time where we'll re really be open, you know, open-minded. <laughs> this is our chance. And, and uh, <laughs> so uh, what about my boys? Can you get them in? 
Uh, not really. It's a pretty private party. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, every time I go in every and, and every room, there's all the girls are hitting on me. So even they're unless married, or unless it, uh, maybe you talk to my boys and uh, call it from your room, and uh, uh, they can congregate there and then move on. Yeah, there are workers in there, but you. A lot I'm of always trying to hook there. my guys up here. Yeah. I'm gonna try my best. I'll give out my number, but or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how does this work, Morris? Are you married? Uh, I'm married. And yet you've got plans. Oh, I got, I got girls left and right there. So, so tell me, little, tell me what your plan. Tell me your plan, and tell me what you've told your wife. Uh, my wife, uh, I told her already we have a Christmas party, and she said it's fine for me to go. You know, to go, you know, uh, see the coworkers and enjoy my time with them and spend quality time with them. And I told her, well, you know, spouse can come. She's all right with it, though. She understands. But um, I'm planning. Already. I got my room. I got the girls already. Holy cow. And yep, these are all I girls got, who work at the hotel. They'll all be at the party. Yeah, I got already one maid and uh, one at the front desk. Are you serious? Not lying to you, Tom. It all happens there. And they are married, too. They're married, too. They got kids. Holy cow. The environment there where I work at is just so beautiful. And I don't know. I just feel like, you know, open-minded. <laughs> Now, what if they knew? <laughs> what if they knew that, uh, let's say, Dean J. D'Amelio of the Tom Likas show was coming over? Uh, uh, I don't think they know you, though. Not yet. You got work to do. Uh, there are a lot of Hispanic people there. I don't hey, they hear you. Forty percent of our audience in L.A. is Hispanic. There, yeah, but the workers there. Uh, I'm like, no offense or no criticize. I was being honest with the workers there. Uh, a lot of them don't speak English and stuff like that, but they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> That wouldn't stop me, I'll tell you right now. That doesn't stop me, trust me, Tom. <laughs> wow. It's crazy, it's crazy, but great. Unbelievable. Well, you hang on, I'm going to put you on with Dean. Dean, Dean is going to want to get hooked up, I, I know it, and uh, probably the rest of our guys. Set that up right now. <laughs> Beverly Hills, baby. Enjoy. What are your plans for the holiday party, everybody? 1-800-5800-TOM. Lorianne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Awesome subject. Um, we have a big Christmas party every year. And this year I have about 15 guys that work for me. And one of the guys I'm hitting, and he has to leave by midnight because his wife says he has to be home by midnight. So then... Number two guy comes in, and we'll probably spend the rest of the night together. Now, you are married? Uh-huh, and so are both of them. So what have you told your husband? I'm going to the Christmas party. It's the same way every year. Um, the last four years, we've done it just this way, and I work for a big corporate office in L.A., and we do it like this every year. You know, it's just Is this the only time of year you screw around? Yeah. Merry Christmas to me. Unbel so you don't do this any other time, just now? Yeah, yeah. And the other yeah. people are married? Yes. And you've been married how many years? Um, About nine. And how many years have you been doing this? Um, Well, uh, this is the third year. But they're different guys. Last year was two different guys. Two different guys in one night? Were they together or separate? Oh, no, no. No, the one guy can only stay because he has to be home till midnight. at midnight. His wife wants him at midnight. So that's the half beginning of my night and then the other guy is the second half of my night and they don't know about each other they're from different offices so how are you going to get rid of the first one excuse me all right you can have the first one and you're double shifting so you gotta how are you going to get rid of him so you can make room for the second well the first guy has to be home at midnight because his wife says he has to be home at midnight so he'll leave at 11 we'll do our dance and he'll be gone and then then the other guy i'll go find him and do you have a hotel room for this? Yes, the company supplies a hotel room so we don't have to go home drinking. Really? Yeah. Now, do you think the company knows, when they when the company makes this possible, do you think they know? Um, I would I would assume so because half, um, you know, half the general managers are doing the same thing. You know, I mean, they, they See, I have always way. been, I'm going to tell you something. I have always been convinced 
that the companies that do this, the management is looking for an opportunity to screw around. Well, uh, and I believe so. I mean, and the way they do it is by making this the rule for everybody. You can't bring any spouse, no significant others. Then they go home to their wife and they say, "Honey, I I told everybody else they can't bring a spouse. I can't very well bring you." Exactly, and that's their excuse to get off their tension, you know, their sexual tension they've had all year. That's their excuse is is to make it this way so that they can get their rocks off. Unbelievable! But it's it's great. <laughs> thank you, Tom. I love you. Well, thank you. I appreciate the call. My goodness. I told you. I told you what this is like. Maybe there's somebody out there who has uh, a spouse who's going to this party. A party like the one I'm describing with the uh, no spouses rule, the hotel room, the dance floor, the free drinks. I, I don't think this is an accident, folks. Susan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I had, I was just interested. It was interesting to me what you think of the two callers that are so happy that they're going to have affairs with their spouses at a time when they're supposed to be with their families. Well, I want them to tell their stories by the same token. I've been very consistent about this. I think if you need to do stuff like this, I don't see why you need to be married. What's the point? Exactly. And don't they feel a bit guilty about what they're doing? That no, they're so... if they felt guilty, they wouldn't be doing it. Yeah. I don't know. These girls, uh, I mean, guys and um, girls, I don't know what they're thinking. Um, saying all of this, they're all happy about it, and they don't even feel anything. Just wanted to know what you think about it. And Now, Susan, let me ask you a question. Are you married? Yeah. Yes, I am. Uh, does your husband have a Christmas party to go to? Um, he actually worked for four or five years in the same place, and his Christmas party was always with the spouses, and we always went with um, all the wives and all the husbands every every single year. So I haven't had an issue like that, but if, I, if, if, if it was me and I had a party and there were no spouses allowed, um, I don't know if um, I would go. <laughs> you don't know if you would go? Yeah, I don't know if I would go without my husband. Now, what would you say if your husband came home and said, Honey, they've cut the budget at work, and I can't bring you. I want to bring you. I just can't. What would you say? I would just say I would appreciate if you stayed and not went. Because what's the point of going if you're and not And then he says, But, honey, I have to. it's my company. I have to put in an appearance at the Christmas party. Well... I guess then I would tell him, okay, it's fine, but um, I would make sure that he's home by at least like 11, 12, just to hang out like, and then come home for, for the family. And what if he called you and he said, honey, I was with the boss, and we were drinking, 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 but they got us a nice room and I could stay here for the night? Yeah. What would you say? Um... I don't know. I, at the time, I wouldn't be mad at him because I really don't know what he's doing. I couldn't just accuse him and then get mad at him and just cause a big fight because I don't know anything. I don't have any proof. But I wouldn't say, no, you better come home. I wouldn't say that. I would just um, say, okay, it's fine. And then I would question him the next day. You would question him? So you don't trust him either? No, even if I did, but I would just question him about what, what what you guys did. But it would be another story if he stayed over and said, I can't come home. I would say that, you know, I'm going to come and pick you up if you don't have a right. Then if he doesn't want me to pick him up, then that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it from an old screw around like myself. The trick is to wait until as late as possible to call you, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., then tell you. Hello? Yeah, I was telling you something. Did you hear me? Yeah. I was getting cut off. I'm sorry. Uh, I heard 2 a.m., 3 a.m. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, you get the ID. And yeah, you... yeah, I do. Okay, that's fine. Thank you, Tom. I wanted to know your advice on it. All right. There you go. No, I'm, I, I don't support doing this kind of thing. I think if you need to screw around at your company Christmas party, it, it is telling you what I'm always telling you, and that is, especially if you're a guy, you just don't need to be married now, do you? Tom. Oh, yeah. Like this. Tom. Tom. Tom.
Don't call palimony what it is. Whatever. Vagina money. What? The Tom Likey Show. From Hollywood. It's the Tom Likey Show. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. All right, what big plan do you have for your holiday party to do something really bad? Something the person who loves you knows nothing about. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Liz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. Well, I'm going to my Christmas party, and I'm planning on boozing it up and hitting on somebody who is about to get married. Now, what does the about to get married part have to do with anything? Well, he's engaged. He's... You know, he he's I'm single. He's going he's engaged, so he's about to get married. And this is hot to you, isn't it? The fact that he's about to get married and you're gonna try to nail it. Yes. I want him so bad and even more so now that I know that he's gonna get married. And I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him at the Christmas party. Would you mind if somebody did that to you? You know what, Tom? I am the female version of your male listeners. I am not involved with somebody. I'm not married. I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want a husband. I want to do what I want, when I want. And because I don't have somebody, I don't have to worry about that because I'm single. And I don't have any connection with somebody or any, you know, um, promises or anything like that, you know. So... I'm not hurting anybody. And if he really loves well, you, her, Well, you are, but you just don't care. I don't care. Men don't care, so why should I care? How do you know this guy wants you? He wants me. How do you know? Even if he doesn't want me, he will want me. But that's my point. Part. You say you're not hurting anybody. What if this guy really doesn't have an interest and has no bad intentions? Then, then he's a good guy and, you know... He won't do anything with me, but... Yeah, but if, if you get him when he's drunk or you make him vulnerable and you get him to do something that he wasn't intending to do, you're telling me you're not hurting anybody? Come on. But you know what the... Just tell me you're hurting them and you don't care. That would be honest. I don't care. All right, so you you know you might be hurting two people here and, and you just but don't care. I'm, but when I'm drunk, I know what I'm doing. I don't care how much liquor you give me. I know what I'm doing. And when people say, oh, I was drunk and... Uh, yeah, but you're not, you're not blameless in this. What can I say? You're not. I mean, I'm, again, I'm glad you're telling your story. It, it's it's uh, wonderful and sleazy, and I think it's fantastic to hear. But come on. I mean, just admit it. Uh, you're, you're harming his relationship, and you don't care. What about all your other callers who were harming their relationship who were married? You weren't. Oh, well, I, I, I must tell you, I, I've been critical of them. I've been critical of them in a general sense, and I am being critical of everybody who's doing this. Again, uh, in, in the, the case here is you have somebody who is uh, getting married and who has shown no effort to try to get you into bed, no effort to try to get you to go out with him or have a drink with him or anything. And 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 you are going to try to destabilize his relationship. <laughs> See, it's one thing to destabilize your own relationship. That's yeah, bad you know, enough. Maybe maybe he won't go for it. Who knows? Yeah, but, but why why even put him in that position? Well, why do your other callers do that to their husbands? I I I think I do believe like they that. are wrong. But you see, it, again, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that you think that. I'm wrong, and these people are wrong. Cause aren't there any you're... single people in your office? Yes. Why aren't you interested in them? I don't have interest in them. Physical, Be... physical interest. But but you even you've admitted to me here the fact that this guy's getting married is what makes it so hot for hot for you. No, I've always I've always been attracted to him physically. Just and he know. has shown no interest in you. We've gone out, we've hung out, we've done stuff together. Yeah, but you haven't done anything like that. No. 
and he has shown no interest, has not instigated anything, has not tried anything. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, you could try to talk your way out of this, dear. And again, you know, it's your life. I, you know, it's none of my business. I'm just saying, come on. I just say, you know what? I'm evil. Say it. I, I, by the way, I've admitted to being an F around on this program. I've admitted to being a screw around. I've admitted right. I've done bad things. I've told how I've gotten away with them. Right. Why can't you do that? Oh, I admit it. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying I'm a perfect little angel that I'm not doing. But you wrong. are going, to, just like I have, you are going to hurt two people here. Possibly, yes. And you don't care. No. That's being honest. See, I'm a lot less critical when you're honest right, right. about I, what I, you're I, doing. I understand. But don't pretend that this guy is 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 the one doing the bad thing and you're doing you're perfectly blameless. Because oh, oh, no, absolutely not. I know. I know I'm not like I'm saying I'm not If there was an al- if there was an alcoholic in your family and, and he stayed he- off booze for 5 years and you put a bottle of scotch right. in front of him. Right. Of course. And you can say, "Well, hey, he should have turned it down." Right. I get it. I understand what you're saying. All right. Can you please take me out, Lacey Peterson style? (laughs) Yes, of course I can. Hammer. Hey. Hammer. Hammer, make your feet in. (laughs) Uh, Then just be honest about what you're doing, and then I'll leave you alone. All right? But don't be pretending that you're Miss Goody Two Shoes and this guy is going to do something evil. Once you instigate it, then, then he's wrong and you're right. Come on. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. Here comes Kevin on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Good. Hey, uh, a little take on that. Uh... Uh, not the last caller, but the caller before about uh, um, going to a Christmas party and screwing around with a couple of guys. You know, the way I figure it, if you have an opportunity like that and you are uh, subject to, okay, I'm going to give in and go ahead and bang the heck out of this chick, as long as you don't go home and you're not going to go home and ask for a freaking divorce because you, you banged some other chick, I mean, just... This guilt trip is all its own individual thing, I think. I mean, I would feel bad if I came home and said, hey, guess what I did? I just screwed the heck out of uh, our neighbor three doors down at a Christmas party. That would be one thing. But I'm not going to go home and tell my wife that I screwed around. It's just not going to happen. You know? Well, I understand that. And uh, again, I, when I hear these stories, when I hear people calling out and telling, calling in and telling these stories, I, I mean, first of all, I think people shouldn't do these things for the most pragmatic reason in the world. Your boss knows exactly what you're doing. Exactly. And do you really want your boss knowing your personal business? That's right. When two, when a man and a woman disappear at a Christmas party for a half an hour, every a harassment suit or something like that, which could happen. Exactly. Bingo. I mean, I'm afraid to you know even talk to some of the women in my office because. If I say the wrong thing, boom, I'm out of there. No questions asked. But anyway, Tom, I just thought I'd uh, go ahead and uh, rally your case a little bit and let you know how I felt. Uh, Could you blow me up, please? Of course I can. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Here's Nicole on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Oh, good. Um, I'm a first-time caller. I actually just started listening to your show not too long ago, but I'm just calling. First of all, kudos to you for actually, like, standing up and saying that, like, what these people are doing isn't right. If they're married and they want to go and screw around, then they shouldn't be married to begin with. And these people that are, like, getting married, this girl's, like, trying to take advantage of this guy in his vulnerable state. That's just, can't she get somebody else? Is she that desperate to just, like, get somebody drunk to try and hook up with her? I mean, that sounds kind of, uh, she had her own personal problem going on there. But I, I was married uh, when I was 19, and 
I split up with him. I supported him for two years, and um, I slept with him just because I wasn't happy. I called it how it is, and these people obviously aren't happy, so they need to get out of it. Well, but that's the thing. I, this is the uh, you know this is the big picture here, though the overarching subject of this program. I don't understand why people feel, on the one hand, the need to get married or to have a right, serious exactly. relationship, and on the other hand, they need to bone everybody in the country. I don't understand exactly. why people need both. Uh, if if you need to be exactly. to live in, why do you need a monogamous, a quote unquote monogamous relationship? Right. Well, I think that there's probably some people that they probably won't get laid unless they get married. That they're, you know, so it's like their only option. And I can understand that. But these people are just getting married because they want to get married, but they're not really happy or doing it for like money or I don't know. It's just silly. I mean, I got young at a, or I got married at a young age and I regret it, but it was a life lesson and I got out of it quick. So. I think it's, uh, you know, again, I think that people really need to trust. <laughs> I don't get this. I, <laughs> yeah. I I think people need to, to sit down and say, you know what? I just want to lay pipe my whole life. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Uh, uh, I'm loving the single mess around with somebody who's going to get trashy. Well, that's how I look at it, Nicole. All right. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. Our toll-free telephone number is 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Eric. I just want to let you know, man, I work for a company over here in uh, at Anaheim, and uh, they're thinking about having uh, a Christmas party. And if they do, oh, my God, Tom. I'm going to Aunt Luigi, man. That's <laughs> all we'll be doing. Really? And, uh, Oh, indeed, man, indeed. These girls in the work environment, locked up in their cubicles, all that tension built up, oh, they can't ready to just get off the seat and go ahead and, ah, man, it gets me all riled up. I get all hot thinking about it, man. I'll bet you do. It's insane, man. Like, I've only, I've, well, uh, my wife, well, she had a Christmas party uh, a couple years back, and, uh, the, the company went out, got hotels for everybody. Actually, they cut, like, uh, I think 75% off the hotel fee. But in any case, man, those, they had a whole floor dedicated to their employees. All kinds of crazy stuff was going on. You could smell the drugs in the air, the girls running around, like, in their panties. And it was just, uh, I, I, I didn't know this went on. And after that, I try to go to every Christmas party I can just to, just to catch the glimpse of the guy looking at the girl we were knowing. Hey, you see, what I would like to, here's what I would like to do. I would like to go to somebody else's Christmas party. Indeed. Where, Indeed. I mean, I'm not married. I, I d turn the radio off, by the way. Um, where I, cause I'm not married. I don't work at your company, so I can't be sued. I want to find a bunch of drunk and horny chicks, married or not, boyfriends or not, whatever, who are going to be in a hotel room for a night who want to get boned. You could do it, man. Do a little research. I mean, they post bulletins in offices. Find out where the next uh, little Christmas party is. Oh my God! It's it, you're going to be the next plumber, Tom. Tom I'm telling you, man. You're going to you're going to change professions, man. I mean, I'm telling you advice. right now. There's there's a girl for me out there, or maybe three. Uh, you know, and uh, you know my taste. Oh man. Uh, Oh, I can't wait, man. It's around the corner, boy. See, that, that's, ready, rather than going to your own Christmas party, get invited to somebody yes, else's yes, party. Indeed. These are girls on a, on a naughty list, and they're ready for some gifts. <laughs> Thank well, you, Eric. man. It was nice chatting with you, man. Can you go ahead and blow me up old school stuff? You know I can. Here you go. Oh, yeah. A little late on the trigger finger there. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Or go to our website near our show streaming live from 3 to 8 p.m. Pacific time every day. Just go to blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.